became spy for Eastern Security Network, coordinated attacks on police station, 17-year-old boy. The suspect, who was accused of harassing and murder, was paraded alongside over 50 others. A 17-year-old boy, Elam Daniel, from the Ohauku local government area of Ebony State has narrated how he became a spy for the Eastern Security Network, ESN, the military arm of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, and coordinated attacks on police station. The suspect, who was accused of arson and murder, was paraded alongside over 50 others on Tuesday at the command's headquarters at Bakeleki. Daniel, however, said he had, he had never handled any rifle but only gave information on places for attacks and how best to carry out such attacks. Elam said his gang members decided to attack police station, police attacked and um, decided to attack police formation when they noticed the force was maltreating southeast youth. Southeast youth for no just cause, but living herdsmen who were killing residents of the region. He noted that he gave formation that led to the killing of police personnel and attacks on facilities belonging to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and other national assets in Ebony State. I always gave information and did it at Ishieke Police Checkpoint, the, uh, the one at Amasiri Junction, the one at Onweke, and the one at CPS in Abakiliki. I monitor places marked for attack before the attack. I normally visit people in the police station to gather information there. After that, I will draw the map for attack on the police station and gave it to the Eastern Security Network. It was my cousin that asked me to join Eastern Security Network that when the freedom comes, only fifth that when the freedom comes, my fifth my fifth generation will be enjoying it. It will it was my local government commander, Francis Ibrick I Ikwede that made me ESN spy commander. He is from easy local government area of Ebony State. Why I am from Ohauku, LGA. I am 17 years old, reported. Okay? If a 17 year old boy is this smart, then he should have been a better person in Nigeria. That is my fake on this issue. Then why is he and if they said that Eastern Security Network are for good and not evil, then why are they burning up police stations? And if at all, that what, according to what this 17-year-old boy is saying, is that he joined the Eastern Security Network because of the way the police and he, may, uh, he makes attacks on the police station based on what the police have been doing to the youth. But I don't think taking laws in our hands is the best situation to take or is the best step to take right now because if we're going to pay evil for evil then i don't think nigeria will go anywhere further we will continue going backwards if care is not taken so as a 17 year old boy who claims to be a commander of information in the ipo rank i don't really think this is this i don't really think this story really tallies anyway because according to Namdi Kanon, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, the founder of ESN, said that they created ESN only to protect the eastern um, region. So I don't really know where this whole 17-year-old boy coming out to say they have been once planning attacks on prison breaks and they have been the one burning police station. I don't really understand where this one came out from or... Oh, Let's go to the comment section and see what people have to say about this. I can can I advise you, Nigerian police? No amount of innocent people you adopt and force them to confess they are ESN, okay, or unknown government can make IPOP to back down on their agitation. You can't stop them when they have only flag talk more of now. Okay? Finally, the unknown government has been found out for the first time. S R talk 
little, little truth. Okay? It is true. How come he is 17 year old and he said he joined IPOP in 2015? So he joined IPOP at the age of 11. <laughs> hey, this is really getting interesting. I don't really know where the Nigerian police are really getting, or should I say, the Eastern police are getting all these people they are bringing out claiming to be Eastern security because their stories are not really tiling out. When did um, Eastern security come out? That this one is saying he has joined the Eastern security at the age of 11. That was in 2015. I can't believe this. This is really getting more and more interesting. The IPOP form ESN against headers, whom they accused of grazing of their own farmlands and committing crimes against local residents. Meanwhile, UK recently granted asylum to the same IPOP, which they targeted, which they tagged as terrorists. Be the judge. Can, I can't really believe this. So, so they are bringing out um people claiming to be ESN member just to tarnish the name of ESN um security network. I can't really believe this. These people doesn't reason reason. Imagine how on earth can a child of seventeen year seventeen be called a commander for Eastern? security country with which experience and the inter <laughs> in the interview he said that his friend that live in lagos called him to introduce him into ipop since 2015 how old was him then rubbish rubbish <laughs> this is real rubbish oh because if <clears throat> if he was if he was <laughs> if he was introduced into Eastern Security Network in 2015 and he was 11 years old, when did they establish ESN? Because me, I really don't get this story at all. I think the government should give him Minister of Information while giving bandit forest security. <laughs> Gumi should coordinate it. I beg, that is really the truth. This 17-year-old boy's story is really, really funny oh, because it's making me to laugh non-stop. Gumi is advocating for bandits while a 17 year old boy is claiming to be the commander of uh, information for IPOP. I think, like Mohammed, you are beginning to get followers, so your followers are beginning, your followers' fan page is beginning to grow big because <laughs> all this story coming out every day is really, really becoming funny. A spy for Eastern Security Network, 17 year old boy. 2015 you joined this whole story is really funny and doesn't even tally because it is really making us to know how incompetent our nigerian police are especially the police from the eastern eastern net and um, the police from the eastern part of nigeria they are really really incompetent because their stories they are bringing up each day is very funny however Whoever does not know that this is a fabricated story from the notorious Nigerian police, the diary paid why their mother was getting married to the father was in vain. We have known the police and it lies over the years and you, Sarah Reporters, has fallen for it without proper investigation. Chai. Sarah Reporters bringing out this news does not mean that they have fallen for it. They brought out this news so that we can be aware of what our Nigerian police are really doing in this country because they all are bringing out false stories every day to us for us to believe that the eastern security are bad people but this story we will never fall for it go out and look for more stories this story we are not buying it at all the story does not even tally with the 17 year old boy you can go to the comment section and share your take and input on this issue of a 17 year old boy being a spy commander for eastern security Thank you for listening. God bless you.